right, afternoon. Um, so I just thought I'd start doing something a little different. Um, so the last month, two months, maybe a few more, um, I've been trying some different hikes, some different places in, in, in the state here in Oregon. Um, taking the camera out, getting pictures. Uh, it kind of started a couple years ago. I had taken a motorcycle trip out to Wyoming and started taking pictures then. My, my wife had bought me a camera for Christmas. Um, yeah, and I really enjoyed it. And, and uh, whether the pictures are, <laughs> are good or not is, uh, is kind of subjective, um, you know. Um, but I really like the hike. It gives me a, a reason to get out and, and be a little more active. Um, and so I've been posting those pictures on, you know, on Facebook and Instagram and whatnot. Um, and so I thought, why not start uh, bringing you guys with me on the trail, let you see uh, some, of the, some of where I'm at, um, at least for this trip. Uh, we'll see how it goes after that. Um, today we're uh, up on Pikes Creek Canyon Trail um, on Steens Mountain, right on the edge of the Owl Board. Got here last night um, and then got up this morning started up the trail I didn't start real super early but to tell you the truth I don't know what time it was I'm on vacation I don't have a watch um, so yeah we're gonna keep going up the trail here and uh, well here as a matter of fact I'll, I'll let you guys see where I'm at it's pretty nice So we're just hiking up the canyon walls and uh, yeah, right and down there's the, the desert right down on the outboard. So it's pretty, pretty sweet man, <laughs> I'm having a good time. So. Right now I'm just sitting down, taking a break, getting myself some water. Um, thought it was a good opportunity to let you guys know what was going on. So I'm gonna stay again tonight and try and get some sunset shots. Um, see if I can't get a sunrise shot. There's a, there's a gorgeous hole in one of the walls down there that I think I might be able to get a sunrise through. We'll see, it's gonna be pretty early in the morning if I do that. But uh, yeah finish up tonight, stay the night, get up early in the morning, then uh, I'm gonna drive up to Three Sisters Wilderness and uh, hike into Sisters Mirror. Um, <laughs> see how that goes, see if I'm too fat and out of shape to carry that pack for, you know, 15 miles. Um, I plan on being there for a couple of days. So, yeah, should be interesting. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm enjoying it, so. Yeah, till next time. So, I wasn't sure if I was going to tell this story or not, but since we're up here, might as well. I don't know when I'll ever get back. So, I've actually been up here before, uh, about 20 years ago, maybe a little more than that. I was 18. Came up with some friends uh, to do some climbing. At the time, we were pretty decent climbers. Um, I didn't do a lot of uh, fillet or harness. It was mostly free climbing. Um, so we came up one afternoon and decided we were going to scale this uh, 
rock formation behind me here. And the only reason I'm telling this story is uh, I, I'd actually told this in the past to a few people, but I, I had forgotten that this was the actual rock formation. Anyway, we got about halfway up and uh, one of my buddies got stuck. He couldn't go any further and he couldn't get back down. They were both in harnesses. I didn't have a harness on. Like I said, I was free climbing. <clears throat> I climbed down, got a rope from them, um, climbed all the way up to the top. You can't see it from this angle. From further down the canyon, you can see it though. There's a tree up on top of that. And uh, <laughs> roped him into the tree and uh, they belayed down. Um, by the time the whole thing was said and over, or said and done, um, it was pretty late in the day and uh, we couldn't see at the time. We didn't have headlamps. I mean, this kind of speaks to the, the hubris or the naivete of, of youth, certainly to the stupidity of youth. Um, anyhow, I got, I got stuck um, in shorts, pretty cold. It gets really cold out here on the desert at night. And uh, so rather than chance at spending the night up on top and freezing to death, I decided to climb down. Um, got about halfway down and uh, couldn't get any further and uh, was basically just holding on with a couple of uh, finger holds and uh, nothing below me, no toe holds. So I remember yelling down to the guys below to make sure that they could hear where my body hit because I was going to let go. There was nothing I could do. It was really, it was honest to God, that it was the very first time in my life I ever really uh, got to the point where, yeah, you're gonna die. That's that's just it. Um, I mean, I'd been scared plenty of times before, had incidents on the river and things like that. Um, but that was the first time I was absolutely certain I was gonna die and, and kind of had to make my peace with it. At any rate, got to that point, told him to listen, I let go, and man, I fell all of like, I don't know, two inches. That was it, onto a ledge below me, landed. Um, pretty pretty good size ledge too. Good enough for me to walk off of. Um, anyway, we ended up walking down off of it and down the ridge line, um, all the way down to the road down at the bottom and, and made it home. Um, but it was, it was pretty funny. And that was the last time I've been to the desert. Um, that group of friends used to come up here quite a bit, or down here, I guess, depending on which way you orient your map. Um, but I, this is the first time I've been down here in 20 years. So it was, it was interesting to see that, that formation and think about it, but yeah. So um, I'm gonna head on down for the day. I think that's it. Um, I'll try and come back up for a sunset shot, but that's, that's way down at the bottom of the canyon. I don't have to hang around all day to do that. I gotta refill on water and uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe go soak in the hot springs or something, so. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that story with you guys because I thought it was pretty funny. So, all right. All right, so went back to camp, took a little nap, um, got rehydrated. Starting to get a headache pretty bad. I'm pretty close to being, uh, yeah, well, just dehydrated. So, um, it's probably about 4.30 in the afternoon. We're heading back up, but on the other side of the canyon, um, there's a, a pinhole through this canyon wall, one of the rock formations up here, that I think might make a pretty good sunset. I'm not sure if I, I'm gonna see what I wanna see. Um, it's kind of a sketchy climb, but it's not bad. Here, I'll, I'll show you guys where we're going. <clears throat> Up there, I don't know if you can see it, that hole up there, hole in the wall. Um, that's where we're headed. So sunset should hit behind those peaks over there. I'm kind of hoping to get some god rays come through it. Um, it's a little hazy, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Um, but that's where we're going. So. The, uh, the hike ups, not bad. What I'm really kind of concerned about is the hike back down, but I'm on a path, so it shouldn't be too bad. Got my headlamp and everything else. So we'll just come back down in the dark and it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So uh, 
yeah, next time, hopefully you guys get to see a photo. All right. All right. So, here's where we're at. Um, I'm pretty much at the top. There's another, I don't know, 40 feet to go. Problem is, if I get up there, I don't think I can get back down. Not in the dark. Um, I'm sure it would be an epic photo. Um, sometimes it's just not worth it. So I'm going to call it and head back down. And before I, I do, give you guys a look at where we're at. I'm going to be really careful standing up here. All of this loose scree is just crazy. So, there's the cave. Like I said, like maybe 40 feet. But as you can see, all of this, and all of this that I just climbed up, there's not a chance in hell I'm gonna come down that in the dark. So, I think that's it. Um, you know, is what it is. Uh, sorry I didn't get to get you guys that epic picture. Um, but, you know, I'm old. And I've got a wife and kids. So, All right. Well, maybe we'll get some. I mean, the sun's still setting. Probably got another hour, hour and a half before it hits the, uh, the crags um, and goes behind them. It sets a little early here because the, the um, Steens Mountain peaks up so high. Um, usually sunset tonight's about 725. It's probably going to be about 625 tonight um, behind the mountains. So I'm going to head back down and uh, yeah, maybe we get something on the way down. Who knows? All right. Made it back to camp. Did I get the picture I wanted? Nope, not even close. And that's not the point. The point was to get out someplace that I haven't been. Um, I have been here, but it's been over two decades. So this was like it was brand new to me. Um, and it was fantastic. So, um, yeah. You know, my father used to say that golf was just a walk in the park, and the ball just gave you direction to walk in. And for me, this is kind of the same thing pictures are secondary the the hike the experience that's that's the point you know sometimes they're short sometimes they're long sometimes they're a couple of days so at the end of the day whether I got the picture or not doesn't matter it doesn't make any difference so just wanted to let you guys know that I made it back down safe and everything's good um, and so tomorrow Ruby and I will be packing up and heading out and on to hopefully greener and cooler pastures because it's freaking hot down here. So, all right. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.